is Solar PVTV once again from Race for Africa event here in Addis Abeba in Ethiopia. And uh, for the second time, we are together with uh, Mr. Merba Tumeles, State Minister for Industry. So, hello, Mr. Menes, and uh, uh, Dobry Dzień. Dobry Dzień. <laughs> Buongiorno. So, uh, we met uh, recently in uh, Rome uh, when I promised you that I will come to Ethiopia and I'm here. After the visit, uh, we had a lot of contacts uh, from all over the world, from the companies which would like to implement their production uh, manufacturing in Ethiopia. So, just to be, you know, practical, I would like to ask you, what are the procedures, how the companies can make investment in Ethiopia and how do you support them? Uh, thank you, Thomas. Yes, uh, it was last May we met in Italy. And uh, since then, things are moved very fast. I'm very happy also to see you here in Addis Ababa uh, for Reza Africa also to host this event in Ethiopia. Uh, regarding your question about investment, uh, uh, to be frank, Ethiopia is now becoming a top destination for investment in Africa. And in fact, if you see the UNCTAD uh, figures of 2015-2016, uh, investment has grew by 46 percent. Uh, so why all this is? Because there is a conducive environment for investment, a generous incentive package and commitment of the government, pro-investment government. And uh, there is also opportunity, market opportunity. The economy is growing and there is huge domestic market. There is also uh, Ethiopia to offer to other countries. We have coffee, Ethiopia is the birthplace of coffee, not only the birthplace of mankind, mm -hmm. the origin of mankind. We have sesame, we have livestock, we have fruit and vegetables, spicy, all these opportunities are in agriculture sector. If you go into infrastructure also, the government is investing huge resource, so the, there are uh, opportunities in the construction industry, in housing, construction material in metal, in chemical, in, it, in pharmaceutical. So there are a lot of in agricultural investment also, commercial agriculture. Uh, and for this, the country presents a uh, lot of different, you know, uh, incentives. And more importantly, recently, the government has also developed industrial parks uh, in different parts of the country. And there are more also in the pipeline. This is uh, in order uh, to shorten the investment cycle from licensing all the way into the implementation. It's like one-stop shop. Yeah, there is one-stop uh, shop also with that, but land which develop infrastructure with sheds. Now for textile and apparel, we are providing sheds, ready-made sheds. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, plug and uh, what you call uh, plug, and um, yeah, plug and play kind. Mm -hmm. Machinery, they can come and start immediately. No, So uh, government is very committed to attract investment. So the procedure as to how uh, investors should apply is there is the Ethiopian Investment Commission. Mm -hmm. In fact, there is a board which is chaired by His Excellency, the Prime Minister of the country, a very close follow and very uh, close, you know. So it's, uh, let's say that he's really very focused and uh, supporting the investments in the country, yes, on the personal level. Sure, he is the champion, you know. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the parliament also has given him, you know, to negotiate with investors, you know, without going to parliament and changing laws and so on. So there is a special uh, right given to make, you know, a, a quick decision uh, when investors with special, you know, uh, kind of advantage coming to the country. So the Ethiopian Investment Commission is a custodian authority to, to provide information about the whole country and to register also, to give license and uh, to give also follow-up support. But there are also sectoral ministries. For example, my ministry, Ministry of Industry, we have also an investment directorate. We have also sector supporting initiatives. For example, under my ministry, we have eight initiatives to support the investor. Textile Institute, Laser Institute. And for renewables, you have something? Uh, not exactly, but this sector supporting, they work on the value chain in to in, in all oh. parts, you know? So, uh, uh, for uh, uh, energy sector, there is Ministry of Electricity. Mm -hmm. uh, and for construction sector, there is Ministry of Construction also. Ah. So, there are different sectoral ministries, uh, but my ministry... But you, you are like a coordinator, eh? because you are the Ministry of Industry. Yeah, we have this institute, full-fledged institute, mm -hmm. under our ministry. Mm -hmm. 
So they are the one to provide, you know, this support to investors to go all along, not only during the uh, investment phase, but also during implementation, during operation also, we provide, you know, a very close support. You don't find anywhere in Africa a government with such kind of support, you know, to the investors. In fact, at times to the domestic investors, we provide hand-holding support, you know. So uh, there is a website for the Ethiopian Investment Commission. So we will put uh, the link? Yeah, we put the link. Then there is also a, a, a platform, annual platform, for example, to promote uh, agro-processing opportunity. We have an annual event. The next one will be in March, beginning of March 2018. So it is about agro-processing, agribusiness, about agricultural investment, about for, for energy also, by the way. Uh, energy is very important for uh, agro-processing as well as for agricultural investment, for mechanized agriculture. Oh. So we look forward, uh, companies in the energy sector also to take part in this upcoming event where we expect about 3,000 investors, you know. Oh. So it's a big pan-African, even international, I can say, and the Prime Minister has declared with UNIDO Director General this event to be, uh, you know, uh, held every year. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to uh, investors from Italy and elsewhere, especially members of Reza Africa, mm -hmm. to take part uh, actively in presenting paper in the B2B, B2 government, government to government session. Mm -hmm. There will be also uh, a display exhibitions, including power sector exhibitions. There will be also a visit to one of the industry parks mm -hmm. in the country, uh, at least uh, to show how... So what is the date? The date will be beginning, uh, I think, 3, 4, and 5, mm -hmm. March. Here I will uh, put it on website. Mm -hmm. We'll link also to your website so that, you know... We will also invite Rest for Africa, yes? For sure. Rest, uh, welcome. Rest for Africa is welcome. It's very important, you know, a platform that could serve also the our purpose, you know, because for industrialization, we need power, no doubt, green, cheap power. We need capacity building. We need technology transfer. We need investment, not least, you know, investors to come on the power sector, investors to come on manufacturing industry, mm -hmm. on many other opportunities of the country. So the country is ready to go to promote uh, uh, with many actors, many platforms, so uh, thank you also for this time, you know, to come to Ethiopia. Uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure and I can confirm that uh, I'm really positively uh, surprised uh, when I saw the infrastructure and also the area here. And uh, I think the most important, uh, the human factor, yes. So uh, I think that this is the most uh, welcoming country, not only in Africa, but in the world. Sure. Uh, you see, talking about human, in fact... Human to human, yeah, we discussed. Yeah, human to human. Uh, this is uh, your ancestors' place, mm -hmm. uh, the origin of mankind, Lucy, you know? Mm. So you are coming home in, in a way, you know, because uh, Lucy is found here in Ethiopia, oh. the ancestor, you know, the old fossil. So uh, secondly, human resources are our top agenda for us uh, because we have 100 million population, young population, 70% of the population is below the age of 30. Mm. So the demographic dividend is also there. Uh, secondly, we need to feed all these mouses, you know. Mm -hmm. So we need to have massive job opportunity for that industry presence, you know. Because Ethiopia is also selected as a pilot for the so-called SDG, goal number nine, inclusive and sustainable industrial development. Maybe sustainable plus. Sustainable plus, yes, sure. <laughs> so uh, in these all opportunities, I think we need uh, human resource development. Mm -hmm. We need uh, knowledge sharing. And we need uh, capacity building assistance from RESA members, initiates, to share to our universities, to our uh, technical and vocational training, to our research initiates, so that we can help the private sector. You know, The private sector is the engine of growth. It has, no doubt, an irreplaceable role. Mm -hmm. However, the government with developmental partners has to create a, a, a like conducive partnership, partnership. partnership and conducive environment for their role to play. You know? So in this regard, uh, I think we look forward to cooperate very close. Uh, as Minister of Industry, we have signed MOU also mm -hmm. with Reza Africa to work uh, on the integrated agro-industry park in four pilot locations in awesome. Ethiopia. So we have here uh, a feasibility study, for example, for the renewable power to electrify the agro-park. Uh, of course, on a 
human resource development on uh, technology transfer and on other research also uh, so that we can get investors also we can get resource mm -hmm. uh, so that you know to work uh, hand by hand hand by hand uh, to work together mm -hmm. and for research also it is good you know to learn a lot from Ethiopia also mm -hmm. with Ethiopian context in the renewable energy mm -hmm. what can be uh, developed you know further so deeper understanding of what in the country holds mm -hmm. secondly presenting an opportunity to investors to come in also to bring together uh, to our side the developmental partners to you know so that they can technically financially support us okay so thank you so much uh, mr Meles. i promised you in may that i would come here in october so now i promise you that we will come in march <laughs> sure we are welcome uh, next march and, uh, 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 and well, all the investors they can contact your ministry and eventually you can uh, even uh, give contacts in the respective we link our website exactly. so that uh, they can uh, save the debt so what i can say to your followers save the debt of uh, beginning of march 3 4 and 5 to come to addis to take part in this uh, grand event you know of it yes, and I, I can confirm that it's uh, worth coming uh, to ethiopia Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Grazie mille, signor. Grazie mille. Spasiba, da? Spasiba, <laughs> Thank you.